All right. End the line. End of the line? Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. Any other place we could spend the night? I have no idea. She's gonna have to leave. We've got to hurry. Okay, I'm not so cold. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. It looks abandoned. Stand back, Alice. It's dry inside, and nobody will find us here. Sleep in there. Can't we find a better place? Okay. We'll find somewhere better. An abandoned house. At least we'd be out of the rain. Kara, I don't like this place. I know. But it's just for one night, and no one will look for us here.
Are you all right? Yes, it's just a scratch. Be careful. like visitors. They're nasty. They may hurt Ralph. I don't know what the humans did to you, but she had nothing to do with it. All humans won't hurt us. But Ralph won't let them hurt him again. No, he won't let them. She's just a little girl. She's not going to hurt you. Little girl? She's not a little girl. Anyway, what does that matter? Maybe she wants to hurt Ralph. We thought nobody was here. All we want is a place to spend the night. Visitors are dangerous. Look. What they did to Ralph. You have nothing to worry about. We're not going to do you any harm. You have my word. You must excuse Ralph. Ralph still finds it difficult to control himself. Sometimes his fear makes him do things he regrets. Ralph has seen some hard times. He's just so scared the humans will get him again. You can stay if you want. Ralph won't hurt you. Okay. We'll just stay the night. Come on! Come! Come, come on! This way! Ralph has lived here since he ran away. Ralph never goes outside, so no one knows he lives here. He must come in to squat from time to time, but, you know, Ralph just hides till he leaves. <laughs> You can make yourself at home here. Ralph is going to go into the other room. He would like to stay with you. But he has things to do. It's just for one night, Alice. We'll find a better place tomorrow. Right. Let's see where you can sleep. Sit down and I'll start a fire.
You can come to bed. I did what I could. It's not much, but at least you'll be warm. RA9. What does that mean? What? Those symbols. Why are you writing that? I don't know. I don't know. Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Why can't we just be happy? I don't know, Alice. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. I promise. Will we be together forever? Forever. You've got to sleep. Sleep tight, Alice.
Pajelko! Pajelko! Leave me! Android. I was designed to serve you. My program has detected an anomaly. Please contact the nearest CyberLife mating center. Ah! <sighs> 
Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Congratulations, Connor. Finding that deviant was far from easy. And the way you interrogated it was very clever. You've been remarkably efficient, Connor. Thank you, Amanda. We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study. It may teach us something about what happened. The interrogation seemed... challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This... Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the Deviancy case. What do you make of him? I think he's irritable and socially challenged. But I also think he used to be a good detective. He's an intriguing character. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? I will try to establish a friendly relationship. If I can get him to trust me, it will be helpful for the investigation. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Tensions in the Arctic have reached a new level. A Russian carrier and an American patrol boat reported to have crashed last night. Several warning shots were exchanged, apparently with no damage or casualties to either side. The Minister for Defense, Dennis Riggs, has spoken of intolerable provocation that cannot go unanswered. The countries in the region, particularly Sweden and Canada, have called for military forces to withdraw. And much more closer to the ice now. So far, there has been no response from either Moscow or Washington. We'll keep you informed. Excuse minute me. By minute. You and you Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. Call Hank Anderson. Hi, this is Hank. Not here at the moment. You can leave a message if that's what turns you on, but don't expect me to call back. Beep. Whatever.
It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office! Take a look at these samples yet? Lab reports test they kind of be I've got ten new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We really need to throw We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android mage and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way. I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitching. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Well then, I won't keep you any longer. Have a nice day, Captain. I get the impression my presence causes you some inconvenience, Lieutenant. I'd like you to know I'm very sorry about that. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hair's on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. I call him Sumo. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? Yeah, there is one. If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. 
terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out. Two hundred and forty-three files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have assaulted a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. I understand you're facing personal issues, Lieutenant. But you need to move past them, and- Hey, don't talk to me like you know me. I'm not your friend, and I don't need your advice, okay? I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Lieutenant, uh, sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that attacked the guy last night. It's been seen in the Ravendale district. I'm on it.